More and more people go through their lives as if they're on autopilot, aimlessly wandering in search of something, meaning, purpose, authentic love, or anything in between. In this confusion created by shaky social connections, constant comparisons through social media, constant calls to never-ending self-improvement, the appeal to people to work on their self-esteem and self-confidence has, paradoxically, resulted in more people feeling unbearable levels of self-hatred or self-loathing than ever before. Do you feel the effects of this strange phenomenon in yourself? We will be providing you with signs that could help you determine whether you hate yourself, possibly without even being aware of it. Number 11. You are obsessed with social media. It's well known by now that people care more about getting likes, virtual validation, than actually being liked by people in real life. What this information implies is that people's self-worth is being artificially constructed by virtual validation more than by person-to-person -person interaction. The problem with this way of virtual interaction is that identities on social media can be easily manipulated to portray perfect bodies, incredible wealth, and amazing traveling destinations without completing the picture with the less pretty, not-so-enviable parts of people's lives. However, our brains are not wired to immediately distinguish reality from presentation, so many people are left wondering whether their lives have any value if they haven't achieved the picture-perfect life displayed on social media. This plants seeds of doubt and insecurity about their appearance, wealth, and lifestyle. The key problem, according to many psychologists, is that people are using social media platforms, built in an impersonal space run by algorithms, to regulate their very human and real emotional states, as well as their sense of self-worth, which is often why overconsumption of content on social media leads to self-loathing. Number 10. You constantly compare yourself to others. Online or offline, self-comparisons to other people are dangerous territory. This strategy can yield some positive results, but it can also lead people down the rabbit hole of never achieving what another person, whom they are comparing themselves to, has. Social psychologist Leon Festinger studied this phenomenon of comparison between people and concluded that people tend to compare with a perceived level up and a level down. This is, of course, just perception, and people tend to have distorted perceptions. However, if we assume their perception is that there are people on a higher level than themselves, and they tend to emulate these people to achieve their level of social recognition, what is most likely to happen is that they are going to start another cycle of comparison with even higher levels that they may not be able to achieve, which will fill them with frustration, insecurities, self-doubt, and self-hatred. Number 9. You are excessively self-critical. Excessive self-criticism can be a very reliable predictor that a person is filled with self-loathing. This self-criticism is a result of the so-called critical inner voices that are often internalized from family and broader social contexts, as well as learned through repeated unsuccessful attempts at achieving a particular goal or goals. For more information on critical inner voices, make sure to check out our video, How to Stop Being Shy and Socially Awkward Forever. If these critical inner voices don't subsist and the person who has them doesn't seek help, it is very likely that they will turn into self-hatred. Number 8. You don't feel comfortable accepting compliments. This can just be an indicator that you are shy or modest, but in extreme cases, where a person reacts to compliments with intense discomfort, avoidant behavior, or even outbursts of anger toward the person who gave them the compliment, it may mean they have a deeper problem with self-loathing. Number 7. You struggle with self-acceptance. Self-acceptance is one of the unifying parts of our personalities. Mental health implies the necessity for self-acceptance, with the desire to self-improve in any measure a person wants unless that self-improvement becomes compulsive and pathological. If you notice that nothing you try to do to self-improve helps ease your inner turmoil colored by self-loathing, it may be a serious sign that you are feeling hatred toward yourself. By the way, if you're finding this video valuable so far, then make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and why not subscribe so you can keep learning more? It's free! Number 6. You are prone to social self-isolation. Social support is one of the pillars of mental health. People are social beings, so they don't exist in a vacuum where their needs, including social ones, can be satisfied without other people. If you have a tendency to frequently reject social gatherings, parties, get-togethers, or just invitations to watch a movie with a couple of friends, it may be an indicator that you hate yourself so much that you can't even fathom what other people may be thinking of you. This would, of course, be your projection of your self-loathing, but enough positive experiences in different social circles through positive reinforcement might help you realize that you are not a person worth hating from yourself or anyone else. Number 5. You are either hypersensitive or hyposensitive to criticism. It is easy to understand why someone who is filled with self-hate would be okay with being constantly criticized, 
After all, those criticisms validate their thoughts and feelings about themselves informed by their inner critics that constantly tell them how worthless they are, and also justifies their self-hatred. However, some self-loathing people react to criticism with hostility. They do it not because they think they have been wrong and misjudged, but because they feel that the criticism is completely merited, even if it's not, so they display the opposite reaction to camouflage how they really feel about themselves, which is the unbearable pain of self-hate. This defense mechanism is called reactive formation. Both of these reactions to criticism should be taken as a sign of a person's shaky and deficient sense of healthy self-love. Number 4. You lack adequate hygiene habits and other self-care routines. Neglecting the need for maintaining hygiene is almost always a sign that a person is going through an acute or chronic mental health condition. A self-hating person simply feels that their appearance should match what they feel about themselves. Deep-seated self-loathing. A person who is consumed with self-hate may not even take care of their health, exercise, eat healthily, or perform other self-care routines that would otherwise probably help them feel and look better, and at the very least, reduce their amount of self-hatred. Number 3. You feel like you hate the entire world. If you happen to feel this way, it is almost certain that you feel deep self-hatred. You can't hate the entire world because you don't know the entire world or all the people in it. Although there is a lot to dislike about the world we live in now, where people are unhappy at record rates and taking their lives more than ever, this generalized hatred of the entire world is an amplified projection of the enormous hatred that you probably feel toward yourself. If you happen to get to this stage of self-hatred, please consult a mental health professional who could help you alleviate that kind of suffering. Number 2. You are prone to self-sabotage and self-harming behavior. People who are consumed with excessive self-loathing will invariably engage in self-sabotage in all areas of their lives, as well as in self-harming behaviors, such as cutting themselves, abusing drugs, or driving recklessly. These behaviors are serious indicators of acting out and are driven by extreme levels of self-hatred. Number 1. You are frequently thinking about death or ways to end your life. Number one point on this list is one of the most terrifying things a person can experience. The level of self-hatred that produces thoughts about dying and ways to take one's own life can reflect such profound hatred toward oneself that it requires full psychological and psychiatric evaluation. If you ever feel this way, please contact emergency services near you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more.